Alrighty everyone, g'day, welcome back to another video. So, you'll see in front of me I have my toolbox. Now recently I've been seeing quite a lot of uh, young uh, hobby and full-time mechanics uh, doing their toolbox tours. So I thought I'd hop on the bandwagon and do one of my toolbox. Alright, so we'll start from the left, move to the right and then we'll go down from there. So over here we have my mechanics creeper. I built that this year in school. Uh, it's been really handy. Uh, the welds are really, really crappy. So if you're a boiler maker and you're watching this, close your eyes, otherwise you'll get post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a good like a good uh, it's a good build. Uh, it was enjoyable to make in school, and I use it quite a lot, so it's, it was worth it. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, this here is the crowbar my dad made for me. I've used this before and it's pretty good. It's nice and small, so it's easy to get into places where regular crowbars wouldn't. Um, this is the roller cab, my main roller cab. I got this for Christmas last year. Um, so yeah, I've just, as you probably would have guessed, it's full. Um, so I've just gradually added more tools to it over the years and, uh, well, sorry, not over the year, over this year I've added more tools to it and it's full. Um, over here, I've got a wide brush, um, a couple of consumables, WD-40, you've got to have that. Contact cleaner, start your bastard. Every Australian toolkit's got to have a can of start your bastard on the toolkit. And uh, I've got some infamous brake cleaner. Oh, that's really empty. I'll have to buy another one of them. Um, I've got a pry bar here. And I have the rest of this set in the top drawer right there. But uh, funny story about this pry bar, I got this this whole set of four for free. Uh, my dad was at work one day and they had a Milwaukee sales rep come and uh, the rep was just giving out stuff here and there and my dad said about how I was looking at these. So I had been looking at these. I was going to buy these or a Sid Chrome pair because I really like my Sid Chrome gear. Um, but he mentioned it to the sales rep and the sales rep just gave him a, a pack of four for free. So that was pretty good. My dad got some merch out of that guy as well. He gave merch to the whole work team. Um, so, yeah, that's, you're a good bloke, mate. So, thanks for that. Um, over here is the injector pump off the Ford motor. If you've seen the latest video on the Ford motor, you'll have seen that. I would have discussed a bit about that, all the stopper cable. Um, we've got this feeler gauge. That's probably familiar to you from the last video um, where I checked for warpage in the head of my Nuffield. Then we've got my big toolbox here. Now this is arguably my favorite, one of my favorite tools in the whole set, or this whole kit here. So this is a Sid Chrome tool kit. Well, it was, um, it's got a couple of other tools in the bottom of it now, but um, this is the base kit and I've got spinners underneath that I'll show you later. So over here we have half inch drive, breaker bar, ratchet, sockets, all the way, all the way up and all the way the down two extensions and a spark plug socket. Uh, over here we have our three inch, inch drive, uh, breaker bar and ratchet, all of our sockets, spark plug sockets here. Uh, it's a quarter inch to three eighths adapter, a wobble socket. I usually just call these uni joints though. Um, two extensions for three eighth drive. And we've got a quarter inch screwdriver with quarter inch sockets. Um, so yeah, that's been a really good set. I uh, quite enjoy using that whenever I have to uh, use a ratchet or a uh, quarter inch screwdriver. I haven't really used screwdriver as much, but three eighths inch socket, I'm probably gonna have to buy a new one soon because the seven years I've had it have taken a bit of a toll on the drive and uh, it's getting a bit of slop in it. But uh, I usually just oil them up every three months and they've lasted me this long, so that's pretty darn good. I'll shut that up and open this. Now we have the spinners. So on this side, I'm not going to open it up because obviously I can't get it past the injector pump. But I have metric on this side and then imperial on that side. So I think this is 8mm. Yeah, 8mm all the way up to 19mm. And then the uh, imperial spinners, I think it goes from a quarter inch to 15 sixteenths of an inch. Um, and down here, I have my ratcheting spinners. Um, they're really handy. If you haven't got a set of them in your toolkit, I would advise you get some. I really like them for pulling off fans. They're really, really, really good for pulling off fans. You can just you won't have to pull a radiator out. You can just fit them in between the radiator and the fan, 
and undo them. Unlike with a regular spinner where you're sitting there, it takes you forever. So yeah, and then I nearly forgot about it. But behind here, I have a ratcheting or a ratchet quarter inch drive so I could sit here. Um, that quarter inch drive set I use quite a lot, probably more than the quarter inch drive set there. But yeah, moving on to the first drawer. Actually, hang on. I well, probably should go through this. So we got just PPE, gloves there. I think that's a receipt for one of the safety glasses. We've got a pen here, two multimeters. The one at the back is sort of my just run around multimeter. It can be, it's just kind of a odd job multimeter. This is my good multimeter. I got this for my birthday this year. We've got a tape measure here. This is a Stanley one. Now, funny enough, uh, this is the only five meter tape measure that I could get that had imperial and metric readings on it. So, yeah, got on your Stanley, you are uh, thought outside the box with that one. Uh, so, the first drawer, um, this has got all of my hand tools in it. So, I've got chisels, uh, pliers, these long nose pliers I use quite a lot, they're really handy. They're Stanley, um, I've had them for a long time actually. Uh, then, I've got this shifter, which my pop gave to me. This is a Stanley as well, so it's been pretty good. Um, down here, cylinder hone. You'll see more of this in the future. I bought this to hone out the bores in that Ford block and also the bores in my tractor when I get the new liners for it. Um, then we've got a Thorex TH714 nylon hammer. This is a really, really good, uh, really, really good tool. I've used this a lot. It's had a lot of uh, love smacks on it. As you can see, it's got a couple of dints in the nylon heads. <laughs> but uh, that's been a really good hammer. That's handy. So if you ever need to get a nylon hammer, buy one of them. Um, and as I said before, there's the rest of the pry bars. Now, this is an experience I had with a tool where I thought I would never use it. But guess what? I use that so much, it's not funny. So I bought this stanley knife from bunnings for i think it was like 20 something dollars and i thought far out i'm wasting my money away on this i'm ne never going to use this this is probably one of the most used tools i have in this this whole top drawer um i use this so much it's not funny i use it for cutting gaskets hoses uh what else gasket hoses tape gaffer tape all that sort of stuff cutting out paper cardboard um yeah, it's a really handy knife. If you haven't got a Stanley knife in your toolkit, I'd get one. Uh, then we have a set of or a set of calipers, vernier calipers. Uh, these are digital ones. Now these ones have a bit of a problem. It's a normal, it's factory, um, but when you open the jaws, it's supposed to make it easier, I think. But when you open the jaws, it automatically turns on. Now this is good and bad for its own ways, but I think it's more bad than good because if I shut this drawer hard or if I close the case hard, uh, it opens the jaws up from the vibrations and you come back and you have you forgot that it's on. And so you come back the next day and your uh, battery's dead. Um, up here, I've got engineer squares, which my dad gave me. So they are pretty good, I've used them before. Uh, we've got Imperial, oh sorry, Imperial's there, and the metric uh, Allen keys, and then we've got star keys, star Allen keys. And I've got a little mini multimeter here, which I usually just chuck in my pocket if I need to go and go out. Um, it's a good portable multimeter, that. We've got some thread extractors here. Um, I think that's it for the top drawer. Move on to the second drawer. Um, I've got a set of three King Chrome files here. I've got these for my... It was either Christmas or my birthday. I can't remember, but my uncle got them for me. And they've been really handy. I've used them a lot. The flat bastard is the most used out of them all. And uh, it's still got lots of grit left on it. So it's been a good file set. Over here, we've got a impact screwdriver. I haven't yet used that, but uh, I'll find a time to use it. There's an old saying that goes, uh, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So that should come in handy sometime. Over here, I've got multi-grips. I've got a Sid Chrome, Sid Chrome pair here. I think this is an Australian-made one, so it should be a good one. Yep, that's an Australian-made one, so it's a good one. My dad gave that to me. Um, then I've got some Knipex ones here, which I bought recently. They're really good. I really like them. So if you need a set of um, extended drawer 
multi grips. Get these. I really like them because they got a nice little push button which you can use to um, operate the jaws. And there, got three vice grips. As with the impact driver, I haven't really used them this much. I used this one the other day on the bulldozer and it did fine. Um, I did want the original vice grips because I reckon they've got the toughest jaws out of every vice grip there is known to man. So yeah, um, that's another case of have it and not need it, um, but it's better than need it and not have it. Um, over here we've got hook and pick sets. I use these a lot, um, especially for pulling seals and O-rings out, they're handy. Um, over here, screwdrivers. Uh, they were that was a cheap set, and then I got a ratcheting screwdriver, which I got for my Christmas up for my cousins a couple of years ago. This drawer is the oh, this is the money drawer. This is where all the money is. Um, so we've got torque wrenches here, uh, three eighths and half inch drive. We've got a Dremel uh, circlet ply set. That's really handy. That was pretty expensive, but it's been pretty good so far and uh, I've got precision screwdrivers, fuses, I use them on my tractor, terminals in both of them and then we've got pencils and pens as well as a sharpener in there. Over here I've got my power tools, uh, so I've got a Milwaukee M M12 drill, Milwaukee M12 half inch stubby pin D10 impact. Now a lot of you go with the friction rings for these and I chose to go with the pin detent. You'll see I've got an adapter on there. Don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, I went to go with the pin detent as I like my pin, dent to, pin detent tools because at least the sockets won't fall off when the pin detent wears out. See, what I think P -dent, pin detent is good for is a bit like a aging wine, you know? it uh, As it ages, it gets better and better. So it gets easier to pull the socket off and put it back on, but yet it still stays on there. So that's why I went for a pin detent instead of a friction ring for that. Um, some of these would disagree with me for getting the pin detent, but that's all right. Um, oh, we've just got some so, some uh, cards for fixing brakes on the Nuffield. Um, yeah, and the last drawer, which is here, has nothing really special in it. This is just tractor parts and all that whatnot. I've also got my old Ryobi drill in there which I don't really use that much anymore because uh, my dad yanked all the batteries off me. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this is the overflow tank from my tractor. Under here is like, I think, I put all the injectors and all the injector lines and all the bolts in that box, I think. Um, yeah, that's the old water pump. That's the old fuel pump. Uh, that's the voltage regulator. There's a few lights behind it and there's the old head gasket right there. You will have seen that in the last video. That's a printed circuit board. Now, my tractor has a printed circuit board cluster. Now, this is something you'd find on cars today with their dashboards. So you think, for 1968, that's a pretty friggin' flash dashboard to have a printed circuit board. Um, yeah, it's a pain in the neck to fix, but yeah, it's, it's, it's good when it works. Right, so I'll close that. Um, all right, there you go. That's my toolkit. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you're probably a snap-on fan and you were cranky because you didn't see any snap-on gear in this toolkit. That's all right. Um, if you like videos like this, uh, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.